Good day to you viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And here we have a Columbia Record L1035 from The Big Boys Are Here, written by uh, Clifford Gray and Nat D. Ayer. In other words, sung by George Roby, comedian with the Alhambra Orchestra. Here we go viewers, a real favourite of the Great War. My brother came home about two, and I'm sorry to say that between me and you, I fear you waxed excessively convivial with fine fermented produce he had tried. He gazed upon the vintage when it was crimson, when bacchanalian revelry was right. He'd partaken of thoracic lubrication, with ambrosial liquid he was somewhat blind. I regret to say he was non compass In other words, he was blind. I courted a girl in the heyday of youth. Her pa went to interview. I told him that I simply worshipped the witch with questions concerning my screw. When I told him the figure, one pound one pence per week, his face all went muffled. And when he did speak, he informed me my society was superfluous, that my presence I might well eradicate. From his baronial mansion made me exit, that I must expeditiously migrate. My proximity, he hinted, was obnoxious. I might seek some distant oceanic drop and vacate his domiciliary apartment. In other words, Bazaar. Now, I'm not a quarrelsome sort of a chap, but the man next door is absurd. We had a slight argument last Friday week, and I never said a word. I called him a big case baboon and a thief. When he suddenly struck me, it passes beneath. Yes. He struck me with antagonistic violence. My injury was obviously seen. An abrasion of the oral epidermis. A confusion of the cranium, I mean. I sustained a laceration of the cuticle. A derangement of the ligaments, I fear. A much enlarged auricular appendage. In other words, a sticky As a student of nature, I strolled up the west, and a maiden I tensed the sea. It seems that she knew me or some of my folk, for she said, how's your father to me? Our acquaintance soon writes what need for delay. If you ask what I think of the wench, may I say... She's a lady of unlimited allurement, a proclivity for passion she displays, a desire for osculation she evinces. She's amorous and yielding in her ways. She's partial to promiscuous caresses, to the blandishments of Cupid she succumbs. She responds to demonstrations of affection. In other words, she's come. Well, there we go, in other words. Well, how strange. Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.